Let's look at the differences between the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3 versus the Bang & Olufsen Bioplay EQ and the EX earbuds. In Australia, the Bioplay EX is the most expensive as it is priced at $650 and then comes the Bioplay EQ which are going at a discounted rate of $450 to $500 in some websites and then the Momentum TW3 which costs just $400. This makes the Sennheiser MTW3 the winner of this round. I don't think carrying around any of these earbuds will be a problem at all because all of them are very lightweight and also has a very small footprint which makes them very portable. However, since this is a face-off, I have to pick a winner here. So I went with the most slimmest and the lightest earbud case for which the Bioplay EQ wins this round. In terms of design, the Bioplay EX are the only pair that has a stem hanging out. Now I know a lot of people might not like that, but that glass back touch surface does give them a more premium look. And even when you compare the case side by side, the fabric case of the Sennheiser is functional but feels a little outdated compared to the smooth brush surface metal finish on both the EQ and the EX. As I always say, looks are in the eyes of the beholder, so I guess I will refrain myself from picking a winner here and let you guys decide what works best for you. But Bang & Olufsen's choice of construction on the Bioplay EX makes them IP57 water resistant rated, which is the highest compared to the Bioplay EQ and the Momentum TW3, both of which are IP54 and IPX4 rated respectively, which makes them very similar. Therefore, this round goes to the Bioplay EX. I personally had no problems with any of these earbuds regarding fit and comfort. However, if you have small ears, then you may want to consider the Bioplay EX as this takes the least amount of space in the bowl of the ears. The other two are a little chunky which might cause some pressure against small ears, especially the Bioplay EQ. So it will be best if you can try them out before buying. And regarding fit, the Bioplay EX and the Bioplay EQ both come with a pair of comply ear tips which are essentially just memory foams which goes inside your ear canals and expand to give a more secure fit. While this keeps the earbuds in the ears no matter how much you move your head, they can get a little bit uncomfortable as they are not that breathable, so they tend to get a little bit warm. On the other hand, the Momentum 3 has detachable silicon fins in the middle that helps to give a more tighter fit. On my ears, I felt that these silicon ear fins of Momentum 3 were more comfortable and were able to provide a much more secure fit, and hence why the MTW3 wins this round. All the earbuds connect via the latest Bluetooth 5.2 technology and supports SBC, AAC and APTX codec. But the Momentum TW3 earbuds are the only ones that does not support multipoint connectivity out of the three here, which means you can only connect to one device at one time. And that is why this round goes to the EX and the EQ. All the earbuds here offer fast charge via USB-C and supports wireless charging capabilities. However, in terms of battery life, the Momentum TW3 earbud takes a bit longer to recharge themselves than the Bioplay EX and the EQ. But that is only because they can last at least 3 hours longer than the other earbuds. And because of this big battery life, the Momentum 3 earbuds wins this round. Again, all the earbuds offer touch controls and with a few combinations of taps and holds you can control volume, skip tracks, play or pause music, call Siri, etc. But the Momentum TW3 is the most sensitive among all the earbuds here which does have some drawbacks. Like it is very easy to accidentally command the earbuds to do something which was not intended. Similarly, the Bioplay EQ's bigger touch surface means that even if you are trying to adjust the earbuds, it is very easy to just press something. But with the Bioplay EQ, I found the perfect balance between the size and sensitivity. Because of the aluminium ring on the outside of the Bioplay EX, which kind of acts like a bumper. So for this reason, I have gone with the Bioplay EX. The Momentum True Wireless 3 are much more efficient in cancelling out low rumbles of engines as well as crowd chatter on a busy cafe than the EX and the EQ. The Bioplay EQ is the weakest among the three here as it can barely keep up with cancelling moving traffic's noise. Bang & Olufsen does fix this issue with the EX just by increasing the power a little bit, but it's not overtaking the Momentum TW3 earbuds in any way. 
the MTW3 are the only earbud that I have tested in a long time that gets close enough to compete with the very impressive Bose QuietComforts and the Sony XM4 earbuds in terms of noise cancellation, though it's not better but it is very close. And that's why the TW3 earbuds wins this round. On a decibel meter, you will see that the EQ scores somewhat around 90, the EX scores a little over 100, and the NTW3 scores 95. What this means is that in terms of volume, the EQ is going to be the least loudest and the EX is going to be the most loudest. The extra power on the EX also enables them to give a much rich and deep bass than the other two earbuds with a wider soundstage also. But the Momentum TW3 also has a trick up their sleeve. Where they really shine is with their instrument separation and harmonic distortion. Basically, what they do best is when the sound level goes up, the TW3 manages to keep the sound clear across all frequency range. Other than that, sound profile wise, all the earbuds have very balanced or neutral tone, which means all types of genres of music will sound equally well. And they all come with a graphic equalizer to tweak the sound, which is great. But with the EX or the EQ, tweaking of the equalizer is not often necessary as both these earbuds are exceptional at accuracy across all frequency levels. But what sets the EX apart from EQ is in the difference in digital compression. So with the EQ in certain tracks, you will hear the odd hiss here or there during silences on tracks. But with the EX, it's not there at all. This takes the EX somewhat closer to being monitor level headphones. So if you're looking for editing earbuds in a true wireless format, then no other headphone will come closer to the EX. And that is why the Bioplay EX wins this round. Testing the microphone of the Bioplay EX. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing the microphone of the Bioplay EQ. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing the microphone of the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3 earbuds. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. As you just heard in the mic test that the Bioplay EX seems to be really struggling with the cancelling of background noise and with wind noises and maybe is the weakest among all the three here in terms of taking calls outside. The MTW3 is however a bit better than that as it can cancel the most high range frequencies, however they still struggle a bit with the wind. But the Bioplay EQ has come out with the best quality here. It is the most aggressive with cancelling out background noise which in turn makes the voice sound a little bit dull but it struggles less with wind and makes the voice stand out even in the most busiest background. So the winner here is the Bioplay EQ. So as we can see that each earbud here has their own pros and cons and which one you end up buying might come down to your personal choice and what is most important to you. But if sound quality is your game, then it is very hard to beat the Bioplay EX. These are the best sounding earbud that I have tested out this year, in a true wireless format of course. But this earbud is not perfect which makes them very hard for me to recommend this to everyone as the outright winner especially when it costs an arm and a leg. So it leaves us with the MTW3 and the EQ. Out of both these earbuds, the MTW3 sounds a lot better and it even costs less money. The MTW3 are much more louder and has a more thumpy bass. Yes, the EQ are more accurate, but for everyday usage like for watching movies and for listening to music on your phone, these are fantastic and you may not be able to tell much difference between them anyways. And on top of that, they have better noise cancellation and better battery life than the EQ and the EX. The Bioplay EX does have a better waterproof rating, but I'm not sure how much impact that has on practical usage. So I guess the Sennheiser Momentum TW3 will be the better buy among all the three earbuds here as it gives the best value for money and truly is a perfect example of what an all-rounder earbud should be. But that's just me, please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed watching this video, then please like, share and subscribe. This is Nafi signing off till next week, peace.